What is going on guys, Ishin here from C0 Media and yes, today we're doing another Cafe Racer video. So back in 2014, when I first finished the Cafe Racer build, I filmed the Cafe Racer completion video. A vehicle like this and a lot of vehicles I own, it is never going to be 100% finished. So in today's episode, I want to show you guys what kind of changes and modifications took place in the past four years since I had the Cafe Racer built. All right guys, so here is what the cafe looks like as of today in 2018, end of the season. Uh, let's start with the obvious here. First of all, the gas tank. The original gas cap was installed basically above the gas tank. It came up to about this height. So I took that off, chopped it off, and welded in this new flush mount cap I bought on eBay. You simply push this in and twist, and keep twisting and it'll be removed. I've had no issues so far. I love how functional it is, how easy it is to remove, no key needed. As for the gas tank itself, I have re-sanded the gas tank and uh, re-rusted it again with hydrogen peroxide, vinegar, beer, and salt. And like every single part of this Cafe Racer build, the gas tank rusting process is part of the build and you can find that video if you click on the video description below and click on the Cafe Racer uh, build playlist. As for the functionality side of gas tank, it was leaking a little bit by the bottom of it towards the back. So what I did was I put in a product called Red Coat which basically sealed the gas tank from inside out. All right, and moving on to the next big modification I've done to the Cafe Racer is that I got rid of the lithium ion battery box I had sitting up here. The reason why I had it sitting up here was because the lithium ion battery I used was too big to be installed anywhere else. And thanks to the guys from Anti-Gravity, I was able to install their eight cell battery pack Right on there, I built a custom battery box right on the swing arm, which is basically powering up the whole vehicle now. This motorcycle literally only has headlamp, tail light, and enough juice to run the voltage regulator and the rectifier, which also I updated and purchased brand new uh, about two years back. Another interesting modification I've done to the bike is that I have completely gotten rid of the ignition switch, which I believe was right here. You can still see the bracket that I cut off. So before I had to use a key to start the bike, but when I got rid of the gas tank cap, which also required a key, I only used the key to start the bike. And I was like, why do I even carry on a key on a bike that I don't daily drive, right? Nobody's gonna try to steal this thing because of how ridiculous it looks. Nobody's gonna be able to start it anyway. So what I did was I installed a combination lock system down here so i have five different switches right and it's got uh, left middle and right so in order to start the bike it's a sequence you have to set the front one uh, say left second one in the middle third one on the right fourth one on the left right it's a combination lock type system so i don't have to carry around a separate key just for the bike itself so i can just hop on the bike don't have to carry anything uh just gotta remember the combination and the bike would start right up no problem and another modification i've added was this motorcycle license plate led light so this is gonna be nice and bright at night but on ebay nice and functional so another huge modification i made to the bike is the rear sets what is a rear set it basically replaces relocates your foot location from front of the bike to the back of the bike so on a stock cv 550 your foot is somewhere around here as you could imagine if your leg if you're sitting on the motorcycle here your leg would be straight up 90 degrees which would naturally give you like stand up more adventure bike style stance right but by installing a wheel set you are relocating repositioning your foot location from front of the bike to the back which in turn bends your leg forward and giving you that more like a leaning forward type uh, riding stance so the bike feels more sportier it, it feels more sketchier in a way and to me i love the wheel set modification on the cb550 i think it changed the riding uh, style of the bike completely i think it's more fun it's more aggressive but anyways when it comes to building a wheel set you can of course build your own you have a cnc machine and you have engineering capabilities and you have time for that but i don't so i went on cognito model got the wheel set kit which fits nicely and 
done beautifully, completely functional, and the foot bag even folds up. So if you don't have electric starter on your CB550 like I don't, you can still kickstart the bike and after you fold the foot bag down, which is nice. But unfortunately, I was not able to keep my rear brake. Yes, I had to get rid of my rear brake. So what was happening was when I installed the rear set and installed the rear brake, for one, it was hitting the exhaust pipe. So I had to chop off the exhaust. Initially, it came up to here, right? But now I had to chop it off here. So the bike is basically open headers, which is insanely loud. And I'll start the bike for you guys at the end of it and show you some uh, uh, drive-by videos. But I had to get rid of the rear brakes. So that leads me to another point is that I will be this winter modifying the motorcycle even further and installing a Jigsaw 600 front end. I have already purchased this on eBay on one of those uh, impulse buy nights on a weekend and it's sitting in my garage. So what I'm gonna do this winter is replace this front fork, both forks with Jigsaw 600. I'm gonna get new tires, new ramps. That's gonna be spoked because I wanna keep that retro vintage cafe racer look, right? So I'm gonna run wider tires uh, this is a 19 inch rim i'm gonna go back to 18 inch to give you a better stance and uh all this new i'm gonna have to get a new headlamp if not new headlamp brackets i'm gonna have to get new uh grips clip-ons levers brake reservoir so the whole front end is going to be brand new this winter so that's another reason why i wanted to this, do this update video today because come spring this bike is going to be completely retransformed again another renovation another improvement so um, I wanted to show you what the bike looked like today. And last but not least, this tail light. I'm currently thinking of doing something else with it. I kind of want to go with a tail light strip that is molded inside the hoop here. I'm thinking of using like uh, yellow foam, expanding foam inside the, the tube here and kind of molding it in on the inside. I'm still not sure if that's gonna work. I'm still not sure if I wanna do it, but that is on my mind as well. And before you guys talk shit about it, yes, I need a new chain. Basically what was happening was, uh, like I said, the gas tank was leaking before I sealed it and the gas was dripping here into the chain itself and it started the chain to kind of rust and made it look like this uh, reddish terrible condition so i'll probably get new chains just for safety purposes right this bike is already dangerous as is i don't want to make it any more dangerous by chain snapping on me when i'm riding oh and here is the left side of the rear set same deal with the folding foot bags although i never fold it on the left side because i don't need to there's a linkages that links your foot bag to the transmission here so you can shift and uh, again like i said there's a video just on the real set installation so make sure to go check out the video in the cafe racer playlist in the video description below if you want to check that out so that's it for today guys i hope you all enjoyed the footage i know a lot of my subscribers are here for the cafe racer and i am too i love my cafe i'm never gonna finish working on this i love all my cars all my bikes and all my projects so i'm gonna finish up this video with me starting up the bike so you can hear how ridiculously loud and good this exhaust sounds i'm also gonna do a couple drive bikes so you can hear what the bike sounds like uh, as i drive by the exhaust pops and it sounds aggressive it really doesn't sound like a cd550 as for the cafe racer lifestyle itself i absolutely love it as you know i have the 2015 fc09 as well as this bike i saw that yamaha r6 i don't care about any other motorcycles i own this bike has so much character it's so fun to ride it's a perfect cruiser around town and uh like i don't care about attention but this bike gets so much attention from the public if that's what you're looking for so thanks again for watching guys let me know what you think about the jixi 600 front end let me know what size tire you recommend that i run on this bike because i plan on keeping the rear tire size the same and also let me know what you think about the tail light strip idea let me know if you have any uh links or suggestions on how i should install that so thanks again for watching guys hope you enjoyed the video much love peace out